I'm on the runway at Almaty Airport in Kazakhstan, and this is the last place I expected to see a snow leopard. In this episode, I'll be on the trail of Kazakhstan's most elusive creature, the snow leopard, and finding out how Embraer's new profit hunter aircraft, now in service with Air Astana, is playing its part in helping to protect the wilderness this magnificent animal inhabits. Join me for another incredible journey. To have any chance of seeing the snow leopard, I'm travelling to the Ilialatau National Park across some really difficult and inhospitable terrain. Saltori Sapabayev has been tracking this elusive animal in the National Park for over 20 years and no one knows the snow leopard and its unique habitat better than him. Saltori, thank you for bringing me to Ilalatau National Park. It's beautiful here. I know you've got some clips on your phone of the snow leopard. Can we see? Yes, i show you. Oh, look. How beautiful is that? Very beautiful. Uh, you're looking at one of the, the world's rarest animals. <laughs> How big is it, Saltori? Is it quite a large creature? With tail, uh, two meters. Two meters. For you, is there a certain prize in actually seeing it because it's so rare? Yes, I'm, I'm lucky. Yeah, 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 lucky. very lucky. But before traveling to the mountains with Saltori to try and spot the animal, I had a close encounter with a snow leopard in a very different environment. On the tarmac at Almaty Airport. Air Astana is Kazakhstan's national carrier and they've just taken delivery of their very first E2 jet. I met up with Vadim Fokins from Embraer. What do you make of the aircraft's new livery? So Air Astana are obviously taking the Snow Leopard livery. What do you make of it, Vadim? I think it's incredible, Arthur. I really, really like it. When we brought back in 2018, Tiger from Singapore Air Show, Peter Forster, president of Air Astana, was so impressed and he asked to paint the national Kazakh animal, snow leopard, on the aircraft. We found out that there are only 10,000 left in the world and 200 only in Kazakhstan. So that's why we were so happy being part of that project. I also had the opportunity to catch up with Air Astana's E2 fleet manager, Captain Temyakan Mukashev. Do you like the snow leopard livery? It's the first time that we've actually seen it on an airline. We've only ever seen you don't it on like the it? I love it. I excellent, love it. excellent view, you know? You see? Looks very I like good. It. I like it. How long have you flown with Air Astana? I uh, have been uh, working for Air Astana flying uh, 15 years. Now, Air Astana and Embraer have got a really, really strong partnership, haven't they? Yes, we have good relationship with the uh, manufacturer Embraer, and they always approach positively to cooperating, and uh, they listen to operators, uh, they listen to our suggestions, proposals, any options, and they always support us. So, Vadim, the Embraer E190 E2 is an aircraft that's brimming with technology from nose to tail. How will this cutting-edge technology help reduce noise and emissions, which are so important to keep to a minimum in this part of the world? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Arthur. The brand new uh, E2 is actually state-of-the-art technology, but on a proven platform. If you look on the aircraft, you can see the new wing, new landing gear, more aerodynamic fuselage, fourth generation full flight by wire all helping to reduce the noise and fuel burn. Since independence in 1991, Kazakhstan's economy has grown at a phenomenal rate and today it's one of the wealthiest countries in Central Asia. However, the long distances and limited access to global markets has constrained growth. Kazakhstan is the ninth largest country in the world and actually also being so close to the biggest markets in the world, like China or India, E2 can open new underserved routes from those countries. So tomorrow, I'm gonna to go up into the mountains myself, into the wilderness, and try and find a snow leopard for real. I've seen one on the runway, but I wanna see one in the wild. What do you think my chances are? I would say good luck to try to find it. And if you have something, like you will have a shot, just give me a picture as well, I would like to have it. Little is known of these mythical creatures, so I was really excited to be heading further into the wilderness with Saltori.
When was the last time one was seen here? Some people seen here a snow leopard uh, last week. Last week? Yes. I didn't expect to hear that. Where exactly on the mountain was it seen? Right here. Yeah. Uh, you see in mountain? Yeah, yeah. On the rock? On that kind of ridge that runs down there. It's incredible to think for an animal that's so elusive, we're actually in the spot where there was one that was seen. That's amazing. What an incredible journey it's been. After speaking to Air Astana, it's clear that the airline is only on an upward trajectory. And for me, that symbolizes the unstoppable ambition of Kazakhstan and its people. I've got close to the snow leopard in the wild and on the runway and seen for myself how eco-friendly technology in Embraer's E2 jet is helping protect this unique habitat. Unfortunately, my time in Central Asia and Kazakhstan is over. But join me next time for another incredible journey.